Hey Vinyl community, this is Tim with the University of Vinyl back with another video today. Um, it is Sunday in Colorado. Hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Um, I have to say I've been kind of blown away by um, the response I've gotten for two of my most recent videos. And in those videos, um, I've actually talked about and highlighted 20 different albums um, that are commonly found still today and sound amazing, like almost audiophile quality sound. And for today's video, um, I thought I would flip the switch a little bit and um, to the peril of the YouTube algorithm, I'm going to talk about modern albums. So these are, I'm going to talk about five albums today that were released um, between the years of 2006 all the way up to just a couple years ago. 20, 2018 is the last album I'm going to talk about today. So we're going to do five albums. Now these five albums are original pressings. Um, they're still available out there in the marketplace. Uh, they're not reissues and they all sound incredibly amazing. Um, if you have seen the other two videos, there's going to be some more common threads, some familiar names, engineers, um, mastering houses, um, mastering engineers, etc. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this uh, video and the videos I've been doing recently. I have more in the pipeline and uh, really appreciate everyone's feedback so far. Let's start out with a band uh, from Chicago, Illinois. Jeff Tweedy, of course, is the band leader. This is Wilco. You know, Wilco kind of um, came out of the, uh, the ruins of Uncle Tupelo. Uh, Jeff Tweedy and Jay Farrar, uh, who went on to form Sunvolt. didn't see eye to eye anymore and things kind of imploded uh, after their last album which was uh, released in 1994 Anodyne and this is the 2007 uh, Wilco album Sky Blue Sky there are 12 songs on this album it is kind of known in circles as a real jammy record as far as Wilco is concerned um, Remember, uh, they released A Ghost Is Born, and um, things got a little bit experimental for a time. It's a really, really nice uh, package, by the way. Check that out. This is a gatefold. Um, they have spread those 12 songs across 233 and a third records, um, 180 gram pressing, and I'm going to give anyone a guess as to who do you think mastered this album. None other than Bob Ludwig. So Bob Ludwig um, mastered this album and he actually has his own mastering studio now up in, I believe, Portland, Maine, um, by the name of Gateway Mastering. And when we talk about this album, it came out again in 2007. Um, I remember I had this on CD originally. I was actually living in Europe at the time and um, half the time traveling out of my car, working out of my car. Um, I certainly didn't have a, a, a vinyl set up at that point in time. I have since been able to get my hands on this copy. But um, 
Impossible Germany, Sky Blue Sky. Um, a lot of these songs were kind of meandering, kind of jammy focused again. Um, some people labeled it as dad rock because it harkened back to, uh, there's, a, there's a definite Steely Dan influence on some of these songs. Walkin' is another great one. Um, on and on and on is the last track um, on side four in this case. Anyway, that's the first one we're going to talk about uh, that I'm talking about today. Um, Sky Blue Sky, Wilco, 2007. Sounds amazing, mastered by Bob Ludwig. Second album I wanted to feature today um, came out in 2014, and this artist had the same group of players with him and kind of supporting cast uh, as he did on an album that was released all the way back in 2002. That album, of course, was Sea Change, and this album is Beck's Morning Phase. So this came out in 2014. It's on Capitol Records. Um, this was also pressed, this, um, this pressing, um, on 180 gram vinyl as well. And um, this is just a gorgeous album. If I'm not mistaken, I think Beck won Record of the Year or Rock Album of the Year at the Grammys um, for this album. I saw this tour um, in the summer of 2014 in Grand Rapids, Michigan in an opera hall, the, the Voss Opera Hall, if anybody knows it. I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but what a venue and um, what a treat to see. He played most of this album in its entirety and because he had the same cast of characters, he did a lot of sea change as well. Of course he had uh, you know, plenty of encores and things from Odile, etc. Um, but, you know, some of the players on this album are some of the best out there studio musicians today. Um, Smokey Hormel on guitar, um, Justin Meldell Johnson on uh, bass. Um, I just saw him on Saturday Night Live. He was up with uh, St. Vincent. This was two or three weeks ago. Um, so he's very much in demand. Who else? Um, Joey Warren, Warren Anker on drums. Um, this is just, this is a very, very atmospheric album. Uh, again, his father did uh, all the string arrangements on this album. His father has done, uh, he's got a huge credit roll of artists that he's worked with all the way back in the 70s. Um, but... Uh, Blue Moon is an incredible song, Cycle. Um, the last track on side two is probably my favorite, Waking Light. Um, it kind of finishes um, with um, just, just uh, uh, it's hard to say, you've got, you've got to listen to it. Um, this was mastered by Bob Ludwig as well. Did I already mention that? Um, so second album today that we're talking about, mastered by Bob Ludwig uh, at Gateway Mastering. Uh, this is Sea Change, released in 2014. It's just a fantastic album. One of my favorite albums and one of the best sounding albums. Um, that's not an audiophile reissue that I've picked up. So the third album we're going to talk about today um, is a band. Uh, they're originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and they had a huge breakout um, hit in 2014. But this is an album that they released in 2017. It's called A Deeper Understanding. Uh, the band is The War on Drugs. And again, this is um, a double album package. All these songs are spread across two 33 and a third records. That album kind of cover kind of gives you a little bit of hint as far as uh, the songs on this album. You know, kind of moody, kind of atmospheric, um, introspective. There is the band on that gatefold package. 
There is a highlight on this album. Um, it's a song. Trying to find it right here. That is, yeah, Thinking of a Place. It's actually the first song on side three in this package. Um, 11 minutes long. And um, these guys, their sound... Uh, is kind of a mishmash between a little bit of Americana, um, quite a bit of indie rock, um, and a little bit of classic rock kind of thrown in for good measure. There's a little bit of U2 uh, <laughs> that you can hear in this for better or worse. Um, but this was actually uh, mastered by Greg Calby at Sterling Sound in New York. Remember... Um, my most recent video, um, Greg Calby mastered um, Reckoning uh, by R.E.M. and Hard Promises by Tom Petty. So, you know, those albums, we're talking about 1984, um, 83, 84 in that range. And here we are, um, 2017 for this album. And uh, Greg Calby is still very much um, part of the conversation as far as mastering is concerned. This thing sounds great. What a great album, and the music is good, too. So in 2018, um, a band leader of an indie uh, rock band uh, released his latest solo album, and it's really a tour de force. So this guy is known for, he's most famous for um, his uh, Fender uh, Jaguar that he plays, as far as electric guitar goes, he he can churn out an incredible amount of sound uh, with his guitar. Kind of on the par with Bob Mould, um, also Neil Young. And that guy, of course, is Jay Maskus of Dinosaur Jr. Um, this is his solo album, Elastic Days. And this was mastered by Greg Calby at Sterling Sound. So... You see that that uh, credit on the back of an album, and you're you're probably uh, it's a good hint that you're going to be getting a good sounding record, and this is no exception. This sounds amazing. You know, Jay Maskus. Uh, I don't know if he holds back uh, more of his kind of melodic songs um, and emotional songs for his solo albums, but it kind of seems to be the case. When I need to. I don't uh, dislike Dinosaur Jr., but this is just a really pretty, pretty album. There's some great songs on here. Uh, See You at the Movies is a standout. Um, Web So Dense, um, Sky Is All We Had, uh, Elastic Days, the title track's amazing. Um, I uh, had an opportunity to see him. He came through town. He was in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, Fort Collins has got a new state-of-the-art uh, theater now called Washington's and um, it was just uh, Jay and if you've ever seen him live or you check out some videos he does a bunch of sequencing so he comes out with a with one guitar and he'll set up one track and set it to go um, and kind of builds up his sound that way and it's amazing and of course he's got a, a huge array of pedals as well um, but sometimes he's billed as acoustic, and that's not really uh, that's not really the case. Um, he's fun to see live, and so is Dinosaur Jr. for that case. Uh, in that case, um, Elastic Days, Jay Maskus, uh, mastered by Greg Calby at Sterling Sound.
Go get it. It sounds amazing. So in 2006, there was a legendary artist that came out with a new album. It was his first album that he had released for five in five years. He hadn't released an album since all the way back to 2001. Um, and of course, we're talking about Bob Dylan. This is Modern Times. And again, this is a... Uh, a single album, but it's spread across two 33 and a third records. They've really given space for these songs to breathe. Um, Dylan, you know, Love and Theft in 2001 was one of my favorite Dylan albums. And he came back with this, and people were talking about, oh, wow, you know, it's a trifecta. You know, Dylan, Dylan's done it again. And, uh, you know, he had... That fantastic band. He always has a good band with him. This had switched out a little bit since Love and Theft. Donnie Heron is kind of your multi-instrumentalist. He was on this album. Um, there's Bob on the back cover. And this was mastered by Greg Calby at Sterling Sound. And... Uh, some of the songs on here are just, um, you know, modern day classics as far as Dylan is concerned. So Thunder on the Mountain, um, Rollin' and Tumblin' is a great song. Um, the final song in this album is called Ain't Talkin'. And, you know, Dylan in his kind of speak, sing, uh, latter day style, um, take his voice, you love it or leave it, I love it, uh, in all its different incarnations. But Ain't Talking is a beautiful song. Uh, the Levee's Gonna Break is a nice blues. This is a lot of um, electric, historic blues-based songs, basically, uh, when he came up with this album. And um, I don't know what else I can say about it. It sounds great. Produced by Jack Frost, a.k.a. Bob Dylan. So there you have it. Five more albums that sound incredible, that are fairly easy to find uh, today. Uh, these were all released um, from 2006 up to 2018 in this new Vinyl Revolution era. Um, hope everyone's uh, enjoying the weekend. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for all the comments on the recent videos. I try to chime in when possible. And um, I have more uh, things in the works and hope to see you all back again here soon. Take care.